In tonight's MVP, I'll tell you about a new piece of artwork that might catch your eye driving through Columbia. And I'll introduce you to the artist behind the mission to keep the memory of one black musician alive. Yeah, it's the clean up mistakes. <laughs> Every stroke is another note on this musical mural. Just grays and whites right now. I didn't even start the front until I knew what I was doing with this side. At this College Avenue building in Columbia, Changing. artist David Spear is composing something special. I presented him this idea and, and he really liked it. He's painting local pianist J.W. Blind Boone. If Columbia's gonna have an iconic personality, a, a figure, I, I think he's a good one. I mean, he overcame a lot of obstacles, he gave it all. And Blind Boone is a story that so many people living here in Columbia have never heard. This is the historic home of John William Blind Boone and his wife, Eugenia. Born in Miami, Missouri in 1864, Boone is known as an innovator of ragtime music who lost his sight at just 10 months old. He was diagnosed with brain fever. It was believed that the only cure for brain fever was to remove the eyes. Boone also lived in Columbia through segregation and the years of Jim Crow. Still, he kept playing. The story of uh, the Civil War, the story of mixed race, the story of uh, people who manage physical disabilities, and, and the story of culture and music and creativity. All of those stories uh, converge in his story. And now they converge on these walls. And so it's important that his story be kept alive. And so the mural will do that. What started as a simple melody. Yeah, we're all part of history. Now a full blown chorus. And being on the good side of history is always a good thing. Kevin McCartney and his crew are helping fill things in. I actually fear heights. <laughs> the song they're crafting on these walls. Right. Is delicate. Three and a half hours of sun. The spring heat can easily throw off the rhythm. If it's too hot, you can't paint. Then the work crescendos. The reinforcements, yeah. With a boost to reach the high notes. This is this is a lot of the grunt work. After weeks of work, All right. hundreds of strokes, and adding new notes. Go to the right key that's black. Spear's song is ready for a listen. Yeah, I'm very pleased. And he hopes you'll hear the point. That it brings our community together in terms of history and inspiration. A mural he hopes mirrors the musical memory of Blind Boone. The impact of visual rep representation is, it can't be underestimated yeah, because, because it opens a dialogue. As a society that we have to understand each other and hopefully this is a positive step forward. People will say, who is that? And we'll be able to tell the story of who it was. As a boy, Boone attended the School for the Blind in St. Louis to learn how to make broomsticks. That was until he heard someone playing piano, quit his work, and then on, quote, nothing could prevent him, his hands from going to the keys. To learn more about Blind Boone and his home, visit this story on our website, komu.com. And also, and also